Paramount Pictures rejected the film in 24 hours. Even though it usually takes Paramount Pictures at least two weeks to get back to anyone, the room was so egregiously awful, they rejected the film in just 24 hours. Instead, Tommy Wiseau created his own distribution network called Wiseau Films, truly taking the idea of DIY to the next level. Wiseau certainly won't let haters tear him apart. Johnny was supposed to be a vampire with a flying car. Tommy Wiseau constantly changed his mind about the film's plot lines, which was a point of contention for a few of his crew members. Had Wiseau gone with some of his initial instincts, the film may have been inconceivably more ridiculous. According to the disaster artist, My Life Inside the Room, the greatest bad movie ever made by Greg Sestero, Wiseau briefly considered making Johnny a vampire who flew away in a levitating car. It's just possible side plot. Maybe Johnny is vampire, he said. The room had a million budget, but no one knows where Tommy Wiseau got the cash. It's pretty baffling that a movie as high budget as The Room could turn into The Room. Yet, somehow, here we are. The Room's whopping million budget was entirely funded by Tommy Wiseau, but no one knows exactly how he came up with the cash. Wiseau has been pretty tight-lipped about his past. The only thing we really know is he used to live in France before moving to New Orleans. Later, he moved to the Bay Area, where he worked for the city and then for a hospital. Is that enough to make million? Probably not, but Wiseau credits his business importing Korean leather jackets as a big source of income. We import from Korea the leather jackets that we design here in America. If you work, you have to save money, right? I didn't get money from the sky. I was preparing, let's put it this way, he told Entertainment Weekly. The budget no matter how squandered is actually pretty inspiring. Wiseau proved that with enough hard work and money, you can do whatever the heck you want. The rooftop scenes were shot with a green screen despite having access to an actual rooftop. Sometimes, the fake thing is better than the real thing, at least according to Tommy Wiseau. Despite the fact that production had access to a real San Francisco rooftop, when you have a million budget, you have to spend it somewhere, right? Tommy Wiseau insisted the movie wouldn't sell without shots of his bare butt. Sitting in an STD clinic waiting for test results, accidentally overhearing your parents have sex, listening to your grandpa defend Trump's grab them by the P asterisk SSY audio tape, these things are all decidedly less uncomfortable than the room's infamous sex scene. Despite the number of times the film's editor pleaded to cut the scene on account of how it scared his wife. Why, he swore the film wouldn't sell without it. In his book The Disaster Artist, Greg Sestero claims Wiseau said, I have to show my ass or this movie won't sell. Wiseau was doped out on Nightwell for much of the filming. It's not just the inexplicable accent that helped Tommy Wiseau achieve his Oscar-worthy performance. He was doped up on NyQuil for a large swath of filming which caused him to get a little slurry. Wiseau wasn't on drugs, per se, but he took large doses of NyQuil to counteract a sore nose and a stuffy throat. Couple that with an extreme lack of sleep, and you've got that bizarrely lethargic scene where Johnny trashes his apartment. It's probably also a good indicator as to why Wiseau couldn't memorize his lines. 
The room went through three different crews because everyone kept quitting. Though Greg Sestero stood by his friend Tommy Wysak until the very end, not everyone stuck out the insanity. The room had an extraordinarily high turnover rate and lost three entire crews throughout the course of production. It was just mayhem, said Dan Janjajin, who played a cul-de-sac drug dealer in one of the film's tangential plot lines. You could come in, and it would be a completely different cast and crew. It was crazy. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.